Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Makai Kingdom. Um, so last time, we were Zeta. We were Zeta. I'm not going to take uh, credit for what that idiot did. But he, I guess I shouldn't explore this right away. He blew up his own overworld because Pram told him, Hey, somebody's coming to fuck up your overworld, they're going to destroy your book, and it's going to destroy another world with it. And he said, fuck that, I'm going to protect it. Went down there, found the book, it called him stupid, so he burned it and destroyed his own netherworld, and only survived by binding himself to the book. So, last time I was trying to compare this to the other Nipponichi software games, the other like three that came up with this. And really the biggest comparison is in Phantom Brave where you control one little girl who binds spirits in the middle of battle into objects and you get different stats. So flowers give you int, rocks give you defense, trees give you HP, weeds uh, look like they give you tech instead of... and you'll see, you see here, like, rocks give you three defense, trees... now apparently in Makai Kingdom trees don't do anything. Uh, flowers, you get an int instead of resistance, and the weeds, you get a tech instead of a defense. So, Zeta here wants us to make two more characters. In Phantom Brave, you had spirits who had static stats, and then depending on what you bound them to in the middle of battle, you got different stats. So if you bound them into a tree, you'd get more HP, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you bound them into a sword, you would get more attack. I'm just gonna explore our empty netherworld here for now. And if you... it was kind of... I want to say a zero-sum game, but it was... If you bound a guy into a sword, you got a really strong unit, but now you didn't have a sword to equip for that battle, because equipment was different in that game. In here, that's all done from the get-go. You choose your unit stats by which item you bind them to before combat. It's a little different. Um, the rest of the game is also very different from Phantom Brave, but it's an easy comparison to start off. If you played Phantom Brave, you haven't played Makai Kingdom, you'll have a closer idea of what's going on. If you've only ever played Disgaea, it's going to be a little different. If you've never played any Nipponichi software games, it's going to be really weird. And if you haven't played any tactical RPGs, you might be super lost. So, there's that. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, the Kai Kingdom got a PSP remake in 2011 that added... Um, I think like two battles with characters from Disgaea 4 or something. I think it was Disgaea 4. Um, this is the PS2 version. I'm laying on a uh, PC emulator with a burnt disc that I had lying around, which I'm noticing a lot of stuttering during cutscenes and stuff. So I might try ripping the image off the disc and just playing off of the image on the PC and see if that's better. But for now, I'm still playing off the disc. So, for now, we're supposed to make two characters, um... I mean, the rock is just an objective benefit, so I'm gonna make a character of the rock. And I think what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna make a junk trader. Oh, the rock is definitely lowering their int. It did not tell me that. Okay, so you see down here, and... Do I have my mouse? I do have my mouse, I can show you here. Down here, the int and tech are going down 20% in exchange for 20% HP and defense. So I, sh I should take that into consideration when I'm making something. I won't want to pick somebody that's going to need int. I'm thinking the junk trader and the pickpocket... Actually, not the pickpocket, because the pickpocket wants tech, I'm pretty sure, since it's its second highest stat. You can see over on the right here, their base stats. So we want to look for somebody whose stats are already really in HP and defense and not in int and tech. I'm thinking... I mean, I feel like I should be making warriors out of these. So maybe I'll make one more warrior. Because it looks like Junk Trader and Pickpocket both really want tech, so I should be making those out of bushes. In fact, those are what I want right now, so let's make these out of bushes. Let's make a pickpocket. Um, 
I'm not really big on Phoenix. Let's just do this like five times and take whatever comes up. Archerus. No, I'm gonna... Trinity's fine, sure. Uh, and I think Tech is the most important one here, so I'm gonna put it all in Tech. There we go. There's Trinity, our pickpocket. Ta-da! Welcome to the Overlord's Castle. The interior is much to look at, but that can't be helped. And I want a Junk Trader. Gwenda, Cecilia, Cecile's fine. Uh, I, I believe they also want tech. I think we can also pump our resistances, maybe? Yeah, we can pump our resistances, but... At this level, like, three points is... Actually, I guess at this level, three points is pretty good, but... In the long term, it'll be negligible. You'll have an easier time early on if you make friends with a lot of magicians and skilled soldiers. Well, the next thing up was flowers where I'm going to make a magician. A witch. Yeah, a witch. Yeah, Samantha's a fine name for a witch, and they obviously are going to need int. And then... thinking I'm gonna make a healer out of the other flower? Oh, it looks like they want res, so... maybe I will make this lowered int and tech. So I think I'm going to make... Mm, they do want it. I'm just going to use a tree for the healer. Because we need a healer. Uh, Farina, Lorca, Flare, Grammy. Yeah, Grammy's not bad. I guess they want res. I, it's been a long time since I've played a Nippon Ichi Safari game. I don't remember what stats buff what. Exactly. Like, obviously, strength does damage. Oh, I didn't talk to my witch. Do you want to range skills or magic? So, um, different characters, classes, do different things in the homeworld. So here, Emmy. No, wait, this is Samantha. Samantha is going to let me change my skills down there. You see that Emmy has plus one HP, plus one to attack, plus one to defense. Trinity has two movement, two jumping, and skill with daggers. She also has three moves, rapier, UFO, and rifle. And then three more moves, fishing pole. Which has, I think those aren't moves, those are her. Yeah, those are still her skills. Those are different weapons she can use. UFO is a weapon, believe it or not. Uh, Fist of Fury, Power Strike. I'm not going to mess with those right now. It's the healer, say. Physical attacker, she gets swords. Magical fighter, she gets books. Yeah, that is common sense. I'm going to make a male fighter out of one of these rocks. Because I just don't really have options otherwise. And then I guess I'll make a magician out of the other flower. Uh, Apprentice. Rusherov. Oris. Beowulf's a great name for a fighter. There we go. What's he got to say? Can I talk to him? There we go. It's not wrong. Get healed. Get healed or get dead. Um, uh, magician. Nicholas. Yeah, sure. He looks kind of like a Santa Claus. And we'll buff Int. There we go. So now we have our party. We have two more, but we just be creating duplicates, and we're going to unlock classes as we go, and I'm going to want these for that purpose. So, let's talk to Zeta. Boom. Shop. So now we can go deal with equipment. Shop for weapons and armor. Level the merchant will affect quality. Am I have a vending machine with some items. Okay. So. We have 500 hell down. Uh, down here. Hell is the currency in, I think, every Nippon each software game. But might not be in so in Phantom Brave and... Uh, Lapisol. We have 500. So, costs are here under hell. We could just buff one person really hard. Uh, UFO Yoink. You can use a special theft technique. I think I want that for the th thief. 
Command language to your bidding. I think I want one of the best book. And I'm going to have to check my Emmy skills here. She's got dagger, sword, rapier, and spear that she's good with. So I'm going to go with spear, I think. We'll get her the best spear for now, pike spear. And then we have like no money, so I'm going to equip Emmy and the, I. I'm not gonna lie, I did that like a really bad way. Uh, so CL Samantha gets dictionary. So ideally we want a staff and whatever you use. What's Cecile use? Status. Cecile. Junk trader. Spear nunchuck, bazooka, hammer. I mean nunchucks sound great. What do I got? Spear, nunchuck, bazooka, hammer. I could get her a nunchuck. Oh no, I don't have like any money. So I can get one more weapon, right? I have 52 and 27. Yeah, I can get one more weapon. I think I should probably get a weapon for the other fighter. But I like the merchant better. And I'm gonna, now you all get to see how terrible my brain is that I've already forgotten. Spear, nunchuck, bazooka, hammer. Spear, nunchuck, bazooka, hammer. I don't really want to buy a short spear for the merchant. Because I buffed her tech, right? Maybe I get a used book for the healer. So some of my guys aren't going to have equipment. That's... That's just because I, I did this. I went all in on, like, small characters. I could confine more characters, but I'm not going to. You see here... I'll just show you real quick. I can actually sell the palm rock or the tree. The palm tree or the rock, sorry. And I could buy one more crappy item, but... We're going to need the palm tree and rock, like, very soon. Alright, Zeta, what's next? No, let's see the cutscene. We need a new netherworld to be created, but we want to ask Pram. You never know what she'll do to us, so we'll ask Mickey instead. A new netherworld has been created in the name of Dark Lord Valvoga. Alright, so now we get the gate, and at the gate we can... Can I do something with the doghouse? No, doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay. Uh, we can go to the gate, and we can start playing the game for real now. Like, over a half hour in. Stage 1, Beginner's Lounge, meet Mickey. Let's not skip the cutscenes.
P.S. Please enjoy the thrills and adventure, Mickey. Ugh. I'm definitely gonna need to rip this eye, so. Alright, so here's our tutorial, our first battle. Just gonna get back in here. Okay. So we need to summon our people. Uh, yes, we have to invite our guys that we made from the thing, and boom. They rocket in from outer space. So you'll see up there we can only summon up to eight people. I think that's actually because we only have. Eight? I forgot how many I made. Uh, if they die, the number on the right will decrease so that we can't fill the spots. So it's not like you can always have like 50 characters and then just only have 10 at a time and every time somebody dies just replace them. You can only use 10 characters for the game. I'm pretty sure normally that population is going to be 10. Uh, you, there's a scoring system that we want to get as many points as possible. We need 200 points this map can give us 400, so we don't actually need to clear everything. So in that respect, it's it's different. So let's invite Emmy, just like the tutorial wanted us to do. Uh, I'll try and stick her right here in the end, so she doesn't have to move as much. Can I get... no, I can't get that other guy. Uh, ah, there we go, now I can get them both. And let's invite Samantha over here. And let's do fire on that guy. And let's invite Trinity I don't remember how UFOs work. Apparently they sit on top of your head. Crane catcher, basic stealing skill. Steal points from the target. Apply damage to single target. Steal the area key from an enemy. I think that's a thing I want to deal with later. I'm going to try the basic stealing skill. So, if you haven't moved, and this is how I should have been doing everything basically, You'll see that the this skill has a certain range around me. I can't make it go closer or farther. But if I target an enemy, you'll see the little red dots appear and over here and the movement. So my unit will auto move to be in distance to use its skill. So let's see how that goes. She's going to kill them. Okay, she missed the guy in front. That's bad. Grain catcher. Steal. I stole a Chinese dress. So let's invite Cecile in. I'm going to have her hold the Chinese dress.
item. How do you pick up the item? I don't know. Oh well. Let's finish that guy off, and I'm going to need to summon... Ah, uh, yeah, let's bring Beowulf in here. Even though he doesn't have an item, he can do something. can punch that guy. And I want to see... If Nicholas can do anything. Yeah, it looks like he can still cast fire, even without a book. Um, but before I move him, I want to see if... Oh, jeez. Okay, so that guy died. Um, cast fire there. Finish that guy off. Uh, yeah, let's kill the last guy. Got 350 score out of 200. So this guy's only worth 50 score. Oh look, there are 50 points, I see it now. I want to know how I get my shirt I stole. Maybe the thief has to pick it up. Most importantly, I wanted him to hit somebody so that I could invite Grammy in. And she can heal Samantha. Alright. I want you... Oh, maybe I need to place into. Store item. There we go. I did it. I figured it out. I'm not so dumb after all. Uh, let's try stealing again. I did it. Alright. Um... Beowulf. I want you to come over here and grab that necklace. Multi ray. Yeah. And I'm going to show off, I'm going to try and show off combos. I can't guarantee everybody's going to live, but. And fire. Why is he holding it? above his head. He's equipped it as a weapon. Interesting. I'm not going to judge you, but you're not the smart. Well, I guess I mean I made you out of... Didn't make you... you see there that we chained a little bit. Which I think will give you more score. So we have 405 points. I'm not sure where the extra 5 came from. I guess that was the chain. Maybe I'm right. Maybe chaining took home a Chinese dress and a ring. And we acquired a hospital. Where we can heal all our wounded people uh, for money. So that was the first fight. I'm going to pause the video here. I will be back tomorrow with more Makai Kingdom. If you like the video, press the like button. It helps a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see you next time.